All right, I wasn't able to make it out today uh, to do any fishing. Kind of got a busy weekend, uh, but I got a few hours to go ahead and paint this bait. So this bait is for the guy that won the uh, online tournament I was hosting uh, like a week ago. Um, so he he uh, gets a free bait painted uh, by me. He chose the colors, kind of like bluegill colors. So we got some yellow and red we're going to use for the sides. We got some orange we're going to use up by the throat and just a uh, just a hair around the uh, uh, bottom gill plate coming up the sides. We'll throw some pearl white on the bottom and do a black back. I've done one similar to this, um, not exactly, but if you've been watching for any time, you've probably seen it. This will kind of be somewhat similar. If you haven't, uh, go ahead and drop me a sub. Uh, if you like what you see, let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're going to start on the bottom here with the uh, transparent yellow. Looking mighty good, if I must say myself. Go ahead and hit this other side real quick. This bait shouldn't take too long to really paint because the needle I'm using is a uh, 0 0.3, so it shoots wider. You can cover more surface area, you know, faster. So really shouldn't take that long to paint this bait. Um, I'm shooting at a low pressure. Um, since I'm doing transparent, I'm shooting, I think, around 15, 20 PSI is about what we're shooting at. Um, I just started doing this uh, last winter because everything freezes up here where I live, so um, I had to do something to keep me going. All right, now we're going to start with the red. I think that'd be good for the red. Hop on over and hit this other side. Very light, barely pulling back on the trigger to get the red to come out. got to be good for the red all right we're going to start off here with our black black back here kind of letting some of that black fall over the shoulder a little bit I think we're good there on the black I'm gonna go ahead and hit the nose with some black here Go ahead and hit the bottom with the uh, orange and the um, pearl white. All right, so what we got next is the white pearl um, that we're going to do up to probably about the uh, the hook attachment point, and then from there we'll do finish it up with the orange and try to bring some orange, some over, let some over spray or something fall on the left and right side of the bait, going up towards the gill plate.
Alright, I think that's going to be it for the pearl. I could have put some opaque white um, on the bottom. I just chose not to. Probably better if you did because you use less paint. You know, you got to build up the paint um, so it's not see through if that's not the look you're looking for. But this bait's going to turn out pretty nice. We're going to hit this uh, throat with the orange now. I was going to use this transparent orange, but I decided to go ahead and switch over and use this iridescent orange here for the throat. So let's go ahead and get started with the throat here. Alright, so that's going to be it for the paint. I think we're kind of kind of good on everything. You can see how the orange kind of runs up over the side there on each side just a little bit. Got the black top, black nose. Now we just got to put some eyes in it and clear it. Go. We're going to dip our bait in the clear. Got one little bubble. Let it uh, drip off for a minute, and I got to take it over to my drying rack. We'll get pictures here once it tacks up in a little while. You guys can see the finished product.